I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the spoiler free review for X. X has a very cool old school vibe. Moments reminded me of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Friday the 13th. What sets this ride apart from some other horror movies is that X doesn't dive into the horror scenes straight away. The build-up is paced well and some of the editing seriously ranks up the tension. After the first brutal horror scene, there's a very interesting moving moment that resonated with me. And in this pivotal moment, there was a chance for a character's backstory to be explored more, which would have taken this film onto an intriguing, powerful level. It's such a shame this creative opportunity was missed. Now, X doesn't include the video nasty vibes of some slasher movies from the late 70s and 80s. And to be fair, it's a difficult ask for any production to get that 80s shock tone perfected. But X works well in providing a foreboding atmosphere. And when the fear kicks in, the music score adds that extra terror layer so well. And the bones of the story is pretty cool and much better than other films from the slasher genre. And when this film jumps into the killing lane, that old school predictable slasher vibe continues. All the cast are strong, especially Kid Cuddy, he is excellent in this. Slasher films are very common and of no particular value, but for some reason X has stayed with me. I had to let it marinate inside my skull for a while. It certainly stands out because from what I witnessed on screen, a great deal of effort has been injected into this production. Its strength is resuscitating an important time for horror. The period known in the UK as Video Nasties, where in the late 70s and 80s films were banned by the ignorant few. On the news, these idiots would talk about the danger of Video Nasties, and the truth was they actually never watched the films they were so angry about. Now the director of X is Ty West who wrote and directed The Sacrament, which is a disturbing and brilliant experience. One of the executive producers on X is Peter Polk, who was also X's post-production supervisor. Now digging deep online, I noticed this Peter Polk. Executive produced the Shudder series, Dead Wax, and he also executive produced 1BR. And I'm telling you now, 1BR is special. So be sure to watch it. Circling back to X, other negative observation. That Mungo Jerry song, In the Summertime, is used, which is unfortunate because I hate it. X is entertaining and nostalgic, so I suggest you check it out.